What is going on everybody? Today we are going to dive into fairly controversial waters because after all this carbon fiber slash wood slash whatever kind of stuff that I've been doing lately, there's been a lot of conversation in the comments about electric guitars versus acoustic guitars and how they make their sound and tone wood and stuff. But this is not the normal conversation about tone wood. Let's get into it. So first of all, uh, I'm in the van. We are in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, on the beach. You can hear the ocean. You can hear the birds. I know some people get annoyed by that, but for the rest of you that love that stuff, you're welcome. It's pretty sweet. All right, so uh, let's chat a little bit about tone wood and acoustic versus electric guitars. Not does tone wood matter. We're gonna talk about the difference between how an electric guitar works and how an acoustic guitar works and why that matters in this conversation. Now, I don't have an acoustic guitar with me today because we're on the road. This is actually one of my customer's guitars that I'm picking up and doing some little maintenance on. I actually built this guitar for him probably four years ago, something like that. And uh, he wanted me to do a couple little things to it. Uh, and so I picked it up from this weekend when we visited the guys at Casino Guitars in Southern Pines, North Carolina. So met him up there. So we'll talk about electric guitars and how they work in a minute. We're going to use this as a little bit of a prop. Acoustics. An acoustic guitar and an electric guitar are not the same. They don't work the same. They don't make sound the same. The acoustic guitar is basically kind of like a drum. So obviously, let's back up a minute and talk about sound, how sound works. It's just air moving, right? Like my vocal cords are making air move. That's making sound waves travel through the air, literally travel. They get to your ears if you were sitting in the same room with me and they would vibrate stuff and you would hear it. So it's literally moving air. An acoustic guitar is exactly the same thing. When you pluck the string on an acoustic guitar, it actually vibrates the soundboard. Okay, so the soundboard of the guitar moves up and down at a particular frequency. That moves the air inside. So that moves a little, but then inside the guitar moves more air. It actually amplifies the amount that's moved by just the string, then the soundboard, then inside the guitar, and of course that's all tuned by the stiffness of the braces and the type of wood and how stiff the wood is and how thick the wood is to how much air moves when the soundboard moves and basically puffs out the sound hole. Now, as you are also aware, sound comes from all sides of an acoustic guitar because it will vibrate the back, it will vibrate the sides, and it kind of works all in concert. But really, an acoustic guitar is a drum. You pluck the string, it moves air, just like if you were to strike the top of a snare drum, it moves air, that moves more air, and that's what we hear. When we are putting together an acoustic guitar, engineering an acoustic guitar, you look at like McPherson, for example, super engineered in the way it works and how it works, we've got a video on that. The idea is, is to decide how much air is to be moved and how accurately, because the whole point of all of this is to when we pluck the string and we hold our, our fretted note a certain way, right? And we pluck the string, we want to duplicate that sound to our ears the way we meant it to happen when we pluck the string. So with an acoustic guitar, it's, it's, that's what you do. When you pluck that string, you vibrate that top, you move that air, and the goal of when you build an acoustic guitar for an acoustic guitar builder is to be able to uh, do that in such a way that it conveys the movement of air to your ear. Now, when we put a pickup in it, that's a whole nother story. And if you want to know about acoustic pickups and how they work and the different types, please let me know. Put it in the comments and I'll make a video. But right now we're talking about a completely acoustic guitar moving air. How does wood and the building materials of an acoustic guitar come into play. The stiffness, the thickness, the density, 
all of those things really matter. Really, really matter in an acoustic guitar because how much the top moves has a direct effect on how much the air moves. How much the air moves has a direct effect on our ears. Now, let's move it over to an electric guitar. An electric guitar does not move air. An electric guitar changes, it actually, it's a transducer, okay? And in fact, the pickup right here is called an electrical transducer. What transducer means is when you take one type of energy, in this case, the kinetic or motion energy of the string, and we convert that energy into an electrical impulse with the pickup. The vibration of the body of the guitar and all that stuff, well, we'll get into that in a minute, but it is not the main goal of how an electric guitar makes sound. And you're like, you're full of crap. But really it's true. When I pluck the string, you might be able to hear it a little bit, right? So you hear it a little bit because that is the little bit of air that's moving from the string and you can hear it. I put it up right to the microphone so you could hear it. That's the little bit of air moving that the string pushed. Now you're hearing it. But to make it loud so the people in the back row can hear it, all you people in the back uh, can hear it, we need to take that energy and convert it to electrical energy and then transfer it to another device that takes the electrical energy and converts it back into more moving air, the amplifier. So, how do we do it? We take the pickup, we pluck the string, the magnetic field that the string resides in wiggles, sort of like if you were to stick your finger in a bowl of jello and just go like this, kind of wiggles the whole thing, because you, you think, think about this like you've got this like blob of jello over your pickup, which is the, the magnetic field. Dumb analogy, I know, but you know, anyway. It vibrates. That's a loose way of saying it. It actually moves within that magnetic field. That creates a mag uh, an electrical impulse in the pickup. That goes to the amp. That electrical impulse gets made bigger by the preamp and then bigger by the power amp, then gets converted back to kinetic energy with the speaker, pushes air, and you hear with your ear. The goal of an electric guitar is not to move through vibration of kinetic energy. That is not the goal of an electric guitar. And you're gonna say, yeah, but when a, bro, like the resonance, bro, like totally, like when I strum it, I can feel it in my body. Now it may do that, and that may be a side effect. You're right, because what we're doing is we're introducing a transverse wave into the string that goes down the string and comes back and down the string and comes back and down the string and comes back, and, comes back, and when it stops, the end of the sustaining period of that, the note stops. But it doesn't stop because the motion of the guitar stops, it stops because the motion of the string stops in the magnetic field. Now, this is where things get a little murky because you might say, well, yeah, but the wood in the guitar affects the tone because, okay, we're not gonna go super deep into that today we're gonna talk about a couple of things that are really, really important to this that you need to do on your guitar, on every guitar, to make sure that you're getting the best tone, no matter what it's made of, out of your guitar. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about hollow bodies because that's kind of a middle area of all of this. So, what we wanna do when we pluck the string is, again, we want it to be as accurate as possible, right? I pluck the string and I want the sound that I expect to hear to come out the other end. The way we do that is we make sure that our guitar is set up properly. The most sustain is not gonna come from some exotic wood that costs a billion dollars. It's gonna come from the correct break angle of the string over the bridge. It's gonna come from the nut being properly set up because remember we're dealing with kinetic energy. Anytime we have a buzz or any kind of vibration, extraneous vibration that's not supposed to be there. Any kind of string buzz, any kind of fret buzz, any kind of nut buzz where it gives you that little zzz or that little sitar kind of sound, um, or those little rattles that you get in your bridge. All those little things are energy that is wasted 
when we pluck the note. Any energy that's wasted is now lost forever and it's not in the note that we intended to make. So the number one most important thing we can do to make the tone of our guitar good, no matter what it's made of, is to make sure that our nut is properly cut, to make sure that this angle here is properly done, which is guitar design and we don't a lot of times have you know, a handle on that, uh, to make sure that our bridge doesn't have any rattles in it, to make sure that uh, obviously our pickup as well doesn't have any rattles in it. We don't want any rattles in the guitar, we don't want any buzzes, we don't want any bad fret work. Those, a good guitar setup is going to be the number one most important thing to make sure that the kinetic energy that you introduce into the guitar gets accurately portrayed as electrical energy and then back into kinetic energy to make sound. So, we've got that. We've got an electric guitar, we know how it makes sound. Acoustic guitars move air, electric guitars convert kinetic energy to electrical energy. That's all they do. You can paint them whatever color you want, that's all they do. What about semi-hollow bodies? Because you know that a Les Paul sounds different than a 335 with the same pickups, the same scale length, and everything else. So the easiest way or simplest way I could say to ex think to explain this is when we move the string and the pickup doesn't move, the string is moving by itself but the pickup is not moving, we get a particular duplication or a conversion of the kinetic energy to electrical energy. If we were to pluck the string and the pickup moves in relation to it but not exactly the same as it, we get a different picture of electrical energy from the kinetic energy. Because we've got two different kinetic energies now doing two different things. The pickup is moving and the guitar string is moving. That is, and I'm not saying that doesn't happen in an electric guitar, but it is further magnified in a hollow body because the way the pickups are mounted in the guitar, especially something that doesn't have a center block, this is so much more um, pronounced, that the pickup is actually moving and the, the string is actually moving. So I'm not saying it's better or worse, but it changes the relationship between the kinetic energy of the string and now we have this second motion of the pickup. It's also why it causes feedback more, but that's a whole nother video. If you want to talk about what causes feedback in a guitar, let me know in the comments and we'll make that video. But hollow bodies are a little bit kind of in the middle ground there and you can really affect the more wood you take out of a guitar and I'm not talking about like when you route a neck pickup in here. I'm talking about like big pieces. Like if this whole thing was hollow all in here except for just this middle piece, it would change the guitar for sure. And the more you take out of the guitar, the more possibility for there to be change. Now, chambered stuff, if it's engineered properly, I don't know. But there you go. Acoustic guitars are not electric guitars and vice versa. I hope you enjoyed this little chat. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please be nice about it because I know this is a little bit of a controversial issue. However, I think it's important to chat about it uh, because you don't want to conflate the two and you don't want to confuse them and you don't want to approach an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar the same when you're selecting materials and construction and that sort of thing. Just be a little more open-minded about it. Make sure you check out the rest of the stuff on our channel. We have news. We have a podcast. Uh, we have a live stream on Thursday. We have all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, this is a really fun subject for me. I'm also, while I have this guitar, we're going to do another Bigsby video. Um, and let me know if you want those other videos that we talked about here too. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you soon.